Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Forgive your brother who, who may say something bad to you, or he, or he may what? Step on your shoe and don't, and don't apologize. You can forgive him for that. Why? Because you diffusing the situation. You see the bigger picture. I want to live and go to college. I want to live so I can get me a job. I want to live so I can marry a woman and have children. You see the bigger picture, right? Read it from the top. This is, this is the attribute of a God. Read. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 14. For if you forgive men their trespasses. So if you forgive your brother who, who may say something bad to you, or he, or he may what? Step on your shoe and don't, and don't apologize. You can forgive him for that. Why? Because you diffusing the situation. You see the bigger picture. I want to live and go to college. I want to live so I can get me a job. I want to live so I can marry a woman and have children. You see the bigger picture, right? Read it from the top. Hey, sis, these young brothers now just learned that God is black. You should stick around. So you can teach your, you can teach your kids the same thing. Be, you, got, you got nephews and nieces, right? You got cousins, right? That's one of the reasons why we're killing each other, because we don't see God in each other. Read it again. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. For if he forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So now that you've forgiven your brother and you're working out situations, God is now going to work on your behalf. Because you want something from God, right? Don't you pray to God? You don't? Why not? Why you don't pray to God? Do, you don't ask him for anything? You should. You should. You know what one of the things you should ask him? Ask him to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's the first thing you should ask God. Lord, thank you for waking me up. Give me wisdom and knowledge to understand it so I can know how to move on this earth. You understand that? What about you? Do you, do you ask God for anything? What you ask God for? For your family to get better, right? Okay, that's good. So you ask them to protect you. He read. Verse 15. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. All right, so if you don't forgive, if you don't try to work out situations between your brothers, God is not going to forgive you. He's not going to be able to work with you. You understand that? So there's a process that goes on with that. What you got? First Peter chapter 3, verse 12. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. See that? So righteousness is what? Keeping God's rules. Not being in sin. So when you are not being in sin, God is going to listen to you. He's going to hear you out. We don't. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. You hear that, Kurt? So that's why it's important for us to keep God's laws. Right. Even when it comes to fornication, when it comes to pork, we have to do what God says. Because that's our ruin. When we don't keep what God says, that's why we go through all these atrocities. That's why there's 15 and 16 year olds that's listening to Lil Dirt, listening to Lil Uzi Vert. NBA young boy, listen to this bad music, killing each other. Right. You start to be renewed by the spirit of your mind. The brother went out, when he went into this telling you that the laws is perfect, converting the soul. So that's how you renew the spirit of your mind. Your spirit is your mind. You understand that? Because there's a lot of deceitful lust there. Hold that, give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. There's a lot of deceitful lust there. And you know how we used to come up, Kurt. You know what I'm saying? We used to, hey, we used to have a, a dime a dozen. No problem. They used to come on wall cut, flocking for us back in the day. But now we got to put off that old conversation. Right. I shouldn't be having a conversation like, hey, man, remember, remember old girl? You know, I could do it if I had a wife, but I don't have a steady girl or a wife. So I got you on that. Hey, but, hey, you got to put off the former conversation. Put tired. off those lusts. It's, 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 hey, tired. is it easy? No, it ain't. But that's why you got to be around brothers that's like-minded right. to encourage you not to do it. Hey, Kurt, I went five years without a woman. Wow. Five years. 
And then the Most High God see me worthy and gave me a woman. Right. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. So our mind is going to tell us, look, man, you know what? It's hard. I can't do it, man. Man, you know what I'm saying? It's deceitful, but you can do it. We come, look, Kurt, we come from strong area, bro. Went through a lot of things. If we could survive that, these little lusts we got going on in our mind, we could definitely survive that, bro. It's called discipline. But we got to be renewed by the spirit of our mind. We don't. And desperately wicked. And our mind is desperately wicked. We think of some evil stuff in our head. Here's an example of some of the evil stuff that goes on in our mind. Read on. Desperately wicked. Who can know it? You want to read verse Mark 7? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try even the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So God is going to look at your attentions. He's going to look at how your attentions are, Mark 7, 21. But God wants you to be, he wants you to be tried. He wants your mind to be right. right. Because being married to a woman is, is not just about having sex. You're releasing some sperm. Bring it up. It's about what? Building her up so y'all can have a righteous union so you can be an example to the nation of Israel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't believe in marriage no more in our community. Bring it up. We look at, we got the highest divorce rate in our community. So God needs you to make sure that you are right. So when he give you that woman, you won't destroy her. Give me that in Mark. Mark chapter 7 verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Uh, here's adultery. Here's these evil thoughts that's in our mind. Adultery. Adultery. Fornication. Fornication. Murders. Murders. Now listen, y'all that's over here that's at the bus stop. These are some of the things that's going on in the minds of our people that we got to change from. Because guess what? The younger generation is looking at you. They're looking up to you. Right. And if you are doing these things, they're going to do these things. That's why it's important for you to change. Because look, I'm tired of hearing these sirens come up and down 31st, 35th Street. I'm tired of it. Because guess what? They about to go pick up one of my brothers and sisters and take them to the hospital. Probably from a gunshot wound. We don't. Fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness. Lasciviousness, what is that, Kurt? That's a that's a strong sexual desire. Like having sex with a 13 year old. Like having sex with a 13 year old girl, or having sex with a dog, or a man having sex with a man. Right. That's lasciviousness. Bring it out. And that's going on in our community. You know that. Me, hey, you and I know some brothers that done did some of that stuff that I just said. Allegedly R. Kelly. Allegedly R. Kelly. But, but now that we come into the knowledge of God, we got to change. We got to stop whoring out our women. We got to marry our women and raise them up in the righteousness of God, keeping out. God's laws. Read on. An evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. Give me Acts 3 and 19. Hey, where we at? Matthew 26? Give me Matthew 26. So, Kurt, look, you, did, did, you uh, got our phone. You got, our, you got your phone. Did you subscribe to our YouTube channel? Hey, show, 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 show them to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So, Kurt, man, you, hey, bro, it ain't by accident, bro. We've been on the phone chatting here and there about the Bible, bro. I come up in the same neighborhood as you, Kurt. It ain't, it ain't by accident that you right here right now. The Most High God want to get you back into the fold. Right. You need to come to the school, bro. You can come today. Right. That's where we going when we live here. Right. We've been doing the Lord's work since 8 o'clock this morning. We've been, going, we've been going to the jails. We've been getting the marches. Now we out here on the streets. Right. Doing the Lord's work. And we're going to continuously do this thing. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with robots.
Nation is you.